All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop. So this is the third and uh, final video in the short series about gauges uh, that you should own if you are an M1 Garand owner, operator, enthusiast, um, armor, or gunsmith. So one of the other things that, that people um, have become aware of is erosion in the throat of your barrel okay <clears throat> what that means is erosion between the front of the cartridge case and the front of the beginning of the lands in the barrel right so you don't want to have a huge space where your bullet has to jump to come into contact with the the lands in the in the grooves of your barrel okay and there's a tool for that so this is the tool all right this is a let's see what I can it says us 30 m1 uh, breech bore gauge right now now this gauge will not work on your 762 uh, NATO slash 308 uh, match Garands, okay? Or, you know, those Garands that are in that caliber. But like the other gauges, um, or the other, like the muzzle erosion gauge, uh, you'll have these graduations right here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, all the way up to nine is actually acceptable for military uh, uses. So, in the CMP, uh, a field grade gun uh, will be probably nine or maybe more on the throat erosion uh, gauge. So this particular rifle is a CMP special, which means it has a brand new barrel on it. This rifle has been fired um, less than a thousand rounds easily. And I apologize for the sound of uh, the mower that's just something that has to happen around here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this video anyway so first a word of caution ensure that your op rod is locked to the rear okay because it's often possible damn it <laughs> for your op rod not on this side to catch on the follower and hang there and if you put your gauge into the bore and the and it slams that's bad for your gauge and obviously it's bad for the chamber of your rifle so the other thing you have to be cautious of sometimes very very commonly in fact with this rifle uh, if you slide this gauge in the back of the gauge is still engaging with the follower so you have to kind of hold back your thumb on the on the op rod and push a little bit down on your follower and as you know that's how you get the damn thing to slam shut so you don't want it to slam shut on your gauge okay so just be super super careful now it's stupid simple to do this right simply insert it now you see doesn't want to go exactly so there we go all right now let's see what we've got here I'm gonna hold it to the light Okay, so as you can see, you read it right there, okay? And this is a solid zero, okay? That's after a thousand rounds, roughly. So,
Okay, so that's me trying desperately hard uh, to make sure that I don't slam my rifle on my gauge. There we go. Okay, guys. <laughs> that was a little bit harder than I should have been. Okay, so I think now you understand how the throat erosion gauge works. And if you don't, please leave me a, a comment below and I'll try to explain it to you. Um, I recommend you have one of these gauges if you're going to go and buy a rifle, at, say at a gun show or from someone else, and especially if it doesn't say what the muzzle and throat erosion gauges gauge at. All right. So once more, <laughs> thanks very much for joining me. I really enjoyed this. Um, if this is helpful for you, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if not, give me a thumbs down, and thanks for joining me. God bless America.